We've uh, very successfully reduced what used to be four million cases a year in the United States down to so few that our outbreak that uh, numbered, I believe, 86 in Minnesota this year sticks out like a strange anomaly in the 21st century as a very strange and bad thing to happen. Um, in fact, the, the reason that that epidemic was not thousands or tens of thousands or worse was because so many of us are so well vaccinated. MMR stands for measles, mumps, rubella. And the MMR vaccine was developed in the 1960s and tested in tens of thousands of children to provide immunity against measles disease, uh, mumps, and German measles. Uh, a highly effective vaccine that uh, gives lifelong immunity. Uh, and uh, does a, a very nice job of, of really making these diseases uh, so rare that most parents have never seen a case of any one of the three. It's re dramatically reduced both the deaths uh, from measles and from uh, the rare diseases, uh, uh, deaths from mumps and rubella. More importantly, uh, it has reduced hospitalization and complications from measles and mumps and a very special complication from German measles. While German measles itself seems like a very tame, mild form of measles, not enough to get excited, when it infects a pregnant woman who's never been uh, exposed to the, either the vaccine or the disease, uh, it will uh, more often than not cause congenital rubella syndrome, leading to the blindness, deafness, and cognitive uh, impairment of that child. And frankly, depending on the time of the pregnancy of when the German measles hit, can even cause a child to have autism.